Can you show me how you lift weights? Do it. <laughs> Can you say hi? Where's your nose? Where's your eyes? Where's your mouth? Where's your ears? Yay! Where's your hands? Yay! Where's your feet? Good job. Can you high five? Woo! Fist bump? Yeah! Good morning, you guys. What better way to kick off a mommy and me what I eat in a day than with ginger turmeric shots? <laughs> So I'm gonna take you guys through a day in the life as a vegan breastfeeding mom of a now year and a half, 18 month old toddler who is rearing and ready to go. We started with a pre-workout shake and a morning workout. Now we're making green juice and I'm gonna make some delicious gluten-free waffles. They are Max's favorite. In case you're wondering what I put in my morning pre-workout shake, it's just one frozen banana and one scoop of Sun Warrior Natural Warrior Blend Protein Powder. Add a splash of water, blend that up, take it down, do a quick sweat session, and come back in and make breakfast for the whole fam. Yeah. So whenever I get the juicer Cheers. out, I always start with a ginger turmeric shot. It's so highly anti-inflammatory. It is quite a zinger. It's tough to get used to, but it seriously gives you a jolt of energy. So lately, Max has been helping me juice and he absolutely loves it. And it seriously just fills me up to watch him have so much fun. It's a great confidence booster. So if you have little toddlers, definitely give it a try. Just be careful that they don't stick their hand down into the juicer. So we're making my favorite green juice recipe. It's dino kale, a whole head of celery, two large cucumbers, a handful of garden greens. So I added cilantro and parsley to this one, as well as some green apple and pineapple just to make it a little bit more palatable for Max. So I had been searching high and low for the perfect little activity table for Max and I found an amazing one on Amazon. I'll be sure to link it below. You can flip this thing every which way. It has so many uses. Is it good? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish my green juice and make some gluten-free waffles for the babe. My gluten-free waffle recipe has been highly requested on both YouTube and Instagram, so here are the ingredients. I absolutely love this recipe, which, by the way, can also be used to make pancakes if you don't have a waffle iron, but I recently got a cute little mini one on Amazon that we have been using so much. One of my tips for any of you mamas out there is to add the maple syrup into the recipe and blend it in, because then you get that maple syrup essence and flavor and aroma that is so amazing, but they're not sloppy, sticky, and messy. All right, so the two vitamins that we use for Max are B12, we use Global Healing, I just do one small drop, and then we use Mary Ruth's Vitamin D3 Spray. You ready? <laughs> Good job. Stone fruit is in season right now, so I'm also chopping Max some fresh, juicy nectarines. And I break his waffle up into bite-sized pieces usually. And a fun tip for you guys, if you're wanting to add veggies into your toddler's breakfast, try frozen peas. They're such a good treat. Max loves frozen peas. They're high in iron, high in protein. I've even found myself munching on them too. A few months ago, we discovered this app on Roku called Minnow. So these are all Christian-based children's TV shows, and it has been so great, not just for Max, but for all of us. If you've been following me for a while, then you know I'm typically raw till four. That being said, I'm certainly not afraid to change things up, and today I'm enjoying a waffle with a big old pile full of berries. After breakfast, we usually break for some outdoor time. I find that it always puts both Max and I in a better mood to go outside, get some grounding in, laugh and play, and just have some undivided time with each other before I get down to work. Max is pretty great about falling asleep for naps on his own. He's still taking a late morning nap, and I attribute that to plenty of playtime. 
So I have a coaching call. I'm gonna grab Max a little snack to eat and I'm gonna get a little bit of work done. Gluten-free cereal. This is by Nature's Gate and it's organic and it's called Mesa Sunrise. Max loves that. And he also loves Mary's Gone Crackers. Kicking off lunch with a big bowl full of watermelon as I prepare Max's lunch. So we had some leftover tofu scramble with tomatoes in it, some cauliflower rice, and some quinoa. For the quinoa, I always like to mash in some avocado. It adds those healthy fats, makes it more calorie dense, and easier for him to grab and eat. I usually like to add flax oil or sometimes olive oil into his meals, as well as sometimes supplementing him with a vegan algae oil-based EPA and DHA supplement just to support his brain and vision health. So after my watermelon, I decided to make myself some collard wraps and rice paper wraps. Now, don't get me wrong, I seriously love my rainbow salads, but if you're anything like me, then from time to time they get a little old and a little boring, and I find that just changing up the modality a little bit helps me to still get in those fresh greens and rainbow veggies. So I'm making rice paper wraps instead, and these are so awesome. So you just wet them in a little bit of water and they become really stretchy and pliable. So I'm adding in all kinds of colorful veggies. I've got some bell peppers, some cherry tomatoes, shredded carrots, arugula, green onions, purple cabbage, and even some homegrown sprouts. So I've been getting back into sprouting lately. I said I would probably make a video for you guys, so stay tuned for that. These are broccoli sprouts. They're extremely great for fighting cancer. Sprouts are one of the most nutritious foods on the planet, you guys. So I will be making a video for you. Let me know in the comments if that's something you're excited for. On this one, I'm actually adding in a little bit of quinoa and tofu scramble because I had a few bites when I was making Max's lunch and it was so good. So if you don't have rice paper wraps and you wanna to go totally raw with your wrap, then you can also use a collard leaf. I just sliced the rib of it a little bit so it's thinner and makes it easier to roll without it cracking quite so much. So I rolled this one up and for my dipping sauce, I'm using some raw almond butter as well as some coconut aminos. So if you've never tried coconut aminos, this is seriously one of the staples in our refrigerator that I drizzle on my salads or make with sauces almost every other day. So definitely give that a try. What'd you get? You want bubbles first? It seems like the biggest turning point that I've seen Max <laughs> take so far has been at 18 months or a year and a half. He has really started to grow leaps and bounds, both physically and mentally and emotionally. So if you guys have any fun toddler activities, be sure to drop them in the comments. Let's get a conversation going. Put them in your cart and go grocery shopping. It seems like some days Max is taking two naps, some days he's taking one, but today I got lucky and he decided he would take a second nap. So I usually do dream feeds during his naps. Late afternoon, I got a text from Dusty that he was on his way home from work, so I decided I would blend us a smoothie bowl. In today's, I put some frozen strawberries, wild blueberries, frozen bananas, and a scoop of Sun Warrior Vanilla Warrior Blend. You guys know Sun Warrior is our go-to plant protein. If you haven't already tried it, I highly suggest it. It makes smoothies so much tastier and it keeps you fuller a little longer. So especially if you're working out, try that Sun Warrior out. You can get 20% off with our discount code. It'll be linked below. So I gave Max a little bit as well. Topped his with almond butter and mine with hemp seeds and freeze-dried strawberries. So usually we don't give Max protein powder, but he really insisted that he try some of our smoothie bowl. So I don't think a little bit hurts once they're at this age, but typically we don't give them protein powder. Can you do the puzzle? You 
got two more. For dinner tonight, we're making one of our quick, effortless, and delicious favorites. It is a red lentil doll. So we start by sauteing onion and garlic with some cayenne, curry powder, salt and pepper, and then adding in the red lentils as well as some chickpeas and peas and tomato puree. And let that all cook up. It is so high in protein, high in iron. And to Max's, I usually add a little bit of coconut cream, again, for those added calories and healthy fats. And I gave them a little bit of avocado and steamed cauliflower as well, and some air fried sweet potatoes for all of us. So this meal is so good, you guys. I will link it below in the description. We've got it in our three budget-friendly vegan meals video, so be sure to check it out. If you guys like this What I Eat in a Day, if you want to see more of this mommy and me style, if you want to hear more about nutrition for babies and toddlers, let me know. And until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Love you guys. See you soon. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.